All right, I'm back. I ha I have the heat blanket uh, now plugged into the frequency converter uh, rather than the 200 watts of uh, bulbs. And here's the heat blanket. I put it on top of the computer I use to control the Spooky. And it's plugged in right here where I'm pointing. You can see the plug. Um, the voltage looks like about 113. 100 I can turn that up just a smidge. Um, what comes out of your wall outlet is, uh, is anywhere between 100 and um, 10 and 120. That's the typical voltage range. And it does fluctuate from uh, time period of day and uh, basically your location, where you are on the grid and so forth. All right, so we're going to turn the power on. And now I can actually adjust the voltage. Well, I have to actually fire it up, so I'm going to fire it up. And, and as you can see in the background, I'm sending um, 100 hertz. I'm going to get this dialed right. 115, 114 volt pulses. And you can see the little night lights on, too. I have that also plugged into the circuit. So right now, the heat blanket is warming up. And it's warming up instead of running at a 60 cycle frequency, it's running at a 100 cycle frequency. And excuse me, I stand corrected. Um, I had preset the Spooky to run a 528. So that is a 528 uh, pulse rate. So this blanket is warming up at uh, a frequency of 528 cycles per second. And it will warm up just like it was plugged into a wall outlet, only the frequency is different. Now the light, uh, the, the heat blanket is emitting an electric field. And I have my tri-field meter right here dialed in to read electric field. So I'm going to turn the tri-field meter on. And I don't know if you can notice, I'm going to turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. You can see that meter going back and forth. It is just pegged because of the electric field being emitted by the electric uh, blanket. Now, if I stop the frequency converter uh, by telling it to turn off through the spooky, you notice that the meter didn't go all the way to zero as it would have if I just turned it off. Uh, the reason why is, is that it's so close to all the electrical field of the gizmos running here that it's sensitive uh, enough to pick uh, that electricity up running around inside. And I tried positioning at some other places to try to make the needle go lower, but I couldn't easily and get everything in the same field of view of the camera. But the point I want to make is, is when I turn the frequency converter on by providing a signal, from the spooky to the frequency converter. And you can see the scope picture go in the background. You can see the light. The meter, meter gets pegged. Now there's only one setting on this uh, when it reads the electric field. Um, so if I turn it, turn it off, the meter dies down, goes down to a lower level, and then it gets pegged. And that electric field is what you would be under and what you are under, by the way, when you just use a normal electric blanket running at 60 cycles. You're under the electric field of a 60 cycle influence. Now, this blanket is being run at 528, which is the DNA repair frequency. And you are now under the influence of the DNA repair uh, frequency. And if the blanket gets too warm, as it warms up, because it takes a few minutes to warm up, you can just dial down the voltage right here with this pot. Uh, so this is now your new heat blanket controller. And there is another way to dial down the, um, the power that's being used to drive this heat blanket, and that is to narrow the pulse width. And up until I built this frequency converter with a veritable pot, I used to control the heat, um, and I still do on a couple of my units, from my heat blanket, because all my heat blankets um, run under... Um, a frequency converter type control mechanism. I've been doing it for years. And I used to control the amount of heat that they would produce by making the duty cycle get narrower and narrower. 
and we can demonstrate that here also. But first, I'd like to show you something else. One of my favorite combinations is 528 hertz and gating it at Showman's Resonance. In Showman's Resonance, the frequency I'm talking about is uh, 7.83. So let me just go to the Spooky and dial in 7.83 on channel 2. And bring that up to 7. 7.83 and you'll see the night light flicker and you'll see the wave pattern on the oscilloscope blinking now. So I'm running the bl heat blanket at 528 hertz frequency cycles per second and I'm turning that on and off at the rate of 7.83 which is a Schumann resonant frequency so I'm modulating the drive, power, or electricity going into the heat blanket. And the heat blanket's still warming up. All right, so there's a demonstration on running the heat blanket with the frequency controller. Um, stay tuned for more videos down the road. Um, I will show you other things like controlling the power via duty cycle uh, from a spooky or another function generator and I will show you running um, infrared uh, LED arrays. The, what you can use to control um, this frequency converter with is really unlimited. Uh, like I said, it could be a simple 555 timer. It can be the spooky under software control, and I'll do demonstrations under software control as well. Oh, just one last thing. Before I go, I will go to channel 1 and I will make sure I'm on channel one and I will dial up the frequency you can see I'm dialing it up dialing 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 um, I'm just arbitrarily dialing it up right now I'm at over 2000 Hertz per second I'll spread this out a little bit so you can see it and there's your square wave running the uh, heat blanket and just to show you that I can control this, I will go over to that and right now I'm running at 10,000 and some change, uh, looks like 828 hertz per second. So the blanket right now is pulsing on and off at Showman's Residence and it's running at um, a frequency, or it's being fed by a frequency of 10,828 uh, cycles per second. And it's still warming up. Okay, that will conclude my presentation on the heat blanket uh, uh, for now. Stay tuned to other videos. Thank you.